Grok AI has been added to Tesla, but as of right now, it doesn't really control your car. So here's three things that you can actually use it for right now. And the third one, parents are gonna love the best. The first one might seem easy, but music recommendations based on where you're traveling to, or if you're just feeling like a certain mood. What is some music I can listen to that will get me in the mood to visit New York City? How about I'm Waiting for the Man by the Velvet Underground? Number two, you're on a road trip and you're trying to find spots that fits everybody's dietary needs. What are some gluten-free celiac safe spots that I can visit in Charlotte, North Carolina? In Charlotte, you'll find seemingly overzealous ice cream, donut I love you food truck, and Viva Chicken as top celiac safe gluten-free spots. So that way it's easier to plan your trip. The honorable mentions are that you can get in a fight with it if you're trying to get rid of road rage. Spill it, what's the real deal? People are cutting me off and traffic sucks. Of course they are. Drivers are the worst. Or if you're nervous about something, it actually has a therapy mode so you can fake talk to a therapist on AI for your whole drive. If it's a tension headache, gently massaging your neck and shoulders might help loosen things up. Any idea what's triggering it? Like lack of sleep? And number three, you got kids in the back and you don't want to hear the same music or maybe you just want something that's different. Have the car tell them a bedtime story. A story about a bunny that has to visit Mount Everest. Oh, a bunny on an adventure to Mount Everest. Okay, kids, let's dive into this adventure.